it's Elias. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today, as you can see, I have a Subaru WRX STI, a 2018 model. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. I'm gonna test it, I'm gonna drive it, I'm gonna let you guys know what I think about it. Of course, big thanks to Honda of Hackettstown for allowing me to review this very, very nice 2018 Subaru WRX. It is currently for sale over at the used car lot. And let me tell you, they have so many used cars. This is one of 300 used cars they keep on the lot. So if you're looking for a used car, look no further than Honda of Hackettstown. Here we go, guys. 2018 Subaru WRX STI. It's basically brand new. It's got 16,800 miles on it, but there are a few modifications I do want to talk about first. It obviously has an aftermarket exhaust that looks like a Perrin exhaust. I could be wrong. Uh, there's a couple of Perrin bars back there holding up that wing, making it look a little bit nicer. I think it might add high speed stability, maybe, or just for looks. I don't know. I'm not too well versed with that. Uh, there are a few other modifications. There's like a there's uh, window visors. The windows are tinted as well. So uh, it's pretty much set up how I would do it if I owned a Subaru WRX STI. It also has, of course, those mud flaps that are very famous with the Subarus. And I installed one on the Type R. I have mud flaps on the Type R as well. People think that I'm trying to make a uh, WRX knockoff. I'm not. Although I am a big fan of WRXs. As you know, I do have a 2002 Subaru WRX, the Bug Eye Edition, and it's a great little car. More videos on that coming. But for today, we have a 2018, and there's so many things to go over. I've just been driving around. I've been kind of touching all the buttons, getting to know the car, and I really like it. Uh, there's some things I like and some things I don't, and we'll talk about all of those things. You gotta admit that does sound really good. This of course has the original 2.5 liter EJ205 engine and uh, it's got the famous Subi rumble that I love so dearly. And it's a great, it's a great sounding car, especially with that loud exhaust. Let's talk about the appearance of the car first. You know, I really love the way Subarus look. It's very quirky styling and I kind of like quirky styling. Some people would say that that's why I have a Civic Type R. I like styling. I like cars that stand out from the crowd. I like cars that, oh, there's the Type R or there's a WRX or there's an STI. There's a Viper, things like that. I love bold looking cars because, you know, you only live once and might as well be bold while you do it, right? So I just love the way this car looks. I love the big giant wing in the back. I do like those uh, parent flaps, those things. I think they look really, really cool. And I, do, I like the front of the car, actually. I don't think it's as good looking as the Type R, but we'll do a Type R versus WRX STI comparison on another video. As it stands, I really like the way it looks. Now, the only thing I don't like about this particular car is the color. I, of course, would have it in blue. Now, let's talk about the interior of the WRX. Now, the interior of the WRX is not what you'd call luxurious. It looks really nice. It, look, it looks like it has a lot of really nice materials. And of course, my favorite part of the interior is gonna be the steering wheel. This steering wheel is amazing to hold, amazing to just have. It is leather wrapped. It's got uh, perforated leather right where, you, where you hand, your hands sit. So it's just really, really nice to hold. Honestly, I think it's nicer than the Type R wheel. It's just a nice wheel to hold. It's, it, it feels really good. Other than that though, you do find a lot of scratchy, you know, kind of old school style plastics pretty much everywhere else you touch the door panel, especially it's just kind of, it looks like a flimsy old, you know, economy car, which this car kind of is. You don't buy a WRX or a WRX STI for a luxurious interior. And now we get to the seats. Now the seats, uh, these are the uh, really nice Recaro looking seats. And I gotta say, I'm not impressed. I do not like them. I guess I'm used to or I'm spoiled uh, by the seats that I have in my other cars, but uh, this car, uh, you know, the seats are okay for what they are, but for a sports car, you want more more of a hug feel than a uh, than kind of a, this, what this gives you. And the seat is also very firm. 
It's a very firm feeling seat. It's a, you know doesn't really give that much that much in the cushion department. You know, I've only been sitting here for about 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes, and I'm already kind of feeling, you know, sore from sitting here. It does have really good lumbar support. So there's that. Now, other than seat comfort, I actually really like the interior. A lot of people say that the interior doesn't look that great, it doesn't look that fancy, it's not that cool. But I think as a sports car, as a sporty car you're driving around, I think it's perfect. I love those two tiers. You know, a lot of people don't like that for some reason. And then you got that little cool little stack up there that shows you, you could even put the turbo, uh, your turbo pressure up there, you can put your climate controls up there. It's just really cool. I really, really like that little cubby hole up there. I wish the Type R had something similar to that. It'd be really cool if it had that. I love the dashboard. I love the, the analog gauges. I'm just a, a fan of the old school style analog gauges. I don't really like the new screens that everyone has and everyone's putting in their cars. And uh, this is refreshing to see kind of an old school style uh, dashboard here, especially with you know this old school style engine. I really like to see this old school style analog gauges. I love the color scheme. It's red, um, black. And there's a little screen in the middle that uh, shows you, you know, what you can do. There's a SI drive, there's different uh, modes for the differential. We'll get to all that in the driving portion. The rest of the interior is pretty good. It's useful. It is four-door car, so you can put a family in here. Not a big deal. It's not that spacious, uh, but, you know, you don't really buy a sedan, a sports sedan, for it to be that spacious to begin with. So it's something to keep in mind. Uh, it is useful, but it's not a hatchback. Uh, like other cars. I mean, I, I would love it if the STI came in a hatchback form. It used to. It doesn't anymore, unfortunately. I think the Subaru is missing out on a huge market by not bringing a hatchback. thing I do want to note is that it's very hot today it's like 95 degrees outside Fahrenheit actually 91 according to the car so keep that in mind turbo cars get heat soaked It's very loud, <laughs> very, very loud. But how does this car drive? Well, it drives very well. It's very stiff. It's a very, very stiff car, and that's something that you got to get used to if you're buying a Subaru WRX STI. It's a sports car, right? So a sports car is going to be stiff. Some of the things that I love about driving this car is the fact that it's it still has hydraulic power steering. That means that the steering rack is very precise. That can I feel like I can throw in the car wherever I want it to, to go. It's a very tight steering rack. I can definitely feel that it's definitely tuned for sporty driving. It's not, you know, it's not over boosted at all, actually. It's kind of a heavy steering, which I do like. Now, throttle response is actually pretty good. I do have it in SI drive, which is the most aggressive throttle response you can get. You can change it by pressing these buttons down here. That's uh, the least aggressive drive. And you can definitely tell the difference. Uh, it takes more pedal effort to actually move the, thro uh, the throttle to make the car move faster. So I actually prefer if we go right to SI drive, and that's the most aggressive throttle mapping. Now it doesn't change the boost or anything like that, it's just the throttle mapping in the, in the accelerator pedal. So it's something I prefer. It also does not change the way the steering wheel works. Well, pedal placement I do like the way the pedals are placed in this car uh, it's not that easy to do heel towing but it's definitely easier than other cars I've driven so driving around town just kind of you know in traffic and things like that the car is not too bad uh, it is kind of bouncy it kind of reminds me of my Honda Prelude's uh, very stiff suspension setup for the racetrack and again this is what you get 
when you buy a sports car. <laughs> it's got a whole ton of turbo lag, but it just makes driving exciting. So you got a whole lot of nothing when you put your foot down on the floor. Uh, you kind of feel it going forward a little bit and then the turbo kicks in and then you're off. I kind of like that feeling. It's kind of a old school style turbo engine feeling. This is a very old engine after all. The design dates back you know, to at least 20 years, maybe even longer than that. Uh, it's very similar design to the old, old Subarus. It's actually a very similar design in the, in the engine found in my 2002 Bug Eye WRX. So as you can see, it's old technology, but it can still be fun. <laughs> now you do hear the turbo spool, which is pretty cool. But one thing I don't like is that it does have rev hang. Now it's not as bad as other cars that have had a rev hang, for example when I had my Civic Sport hatch, that has atrocious rev hang, but this car does definitely have a rev hang. What is rev hang? It basically is when you put the, your foot on the clutch to try to shift to the next gear, your foot's off the accelerator pedal, the revs kind of just stay right up there, and that's for emissions purposes. Unfortunately, that's, it is what it is, uh, it's something that you got to deal with with these cars, but I do think Subaru did a really good job at making this car a lot of fun. loud exhaust I mean it sounds amazing but eventually it does get bothersome Let's see if we can uh <laughs> so it's not slow but it's also not very fast I can tell that for example the type R is a lot faster than this car and the Ford Focus RS is definitely a lot faster than this car. And I'm going to show you, it's just a very, very old engine design. And it sounds amazing, it feels amazing, it feels exciting. So you got some turbo lag, so you put it in third, let's say you put it in fourth, third, you push the bottle, and then, then you go, right? So what else can I tell you about this car? I mean, I really like the car, I love the layout. It's a very sporty feeling, it's all-wheel drive, so it'll work in the snow, it'll work well in the rain uh, if it's if you're racing in the rain there's nothing better than all-wheel drive uh, it's something that it really gives you a huge advantage it has uh, the advantage in the exit uh, corner exit when you're exiting the corner you can mash the throttle and all four wheels kind of bring you around uh, that's something that uh, no front-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive car really has you, you do that in a front-wheel drive car you get terminal understeer you do that in a rear-wheel drive car you get oversteer on uh, this car you will eventually get understeer but the fact that all four wheels are clawing to get you as much grip as possible uh, just makes it that much more fun and that much better at getting faster track times now the main thing I would change in this car is of course the engine Subaru give us a better engine give us a nice fast modern engine that gives us decent gas mileage and uh, you know it's sad that we lose the Subaru rumble so I'm kind of ambivalent about it but it just goes to show you that, you know, this car, it's fun, but it's just, you know, it doesn't feel as, as intense as the more modern, the newer sports cars of today. For example, the Focus RS or the Type R. So it's just uh, one of those things about this car. You know, if you're looking for a car that you can use in the snow, it has all-wheel drive capabilities and, you know, it's awesome to look at, it's awesome to be in, it's awesome to listen to, uh, this is the car for you. However, there's one thing I do have to mention. The owner of this car, the previous owner of this car, traded this car in for a Type R. So that's something for you to keep in mind. Uh, if you're thinking about buying a Subaru WRX or a Type R, well, I'd say go to the Type R. 